The news today and uh, happening today, external bullies must be kept on a lead and muzzled when out in public, as new laws were introduced which also prohibited the selling, breeding and abandoning of the breed. Now, this comes ahead of an outright ban which will come into force at the start of February. So, on February the 1st, owners have one month now, from now, to apply for an exemption certificate to keep their dog. I mean, look, he looks cute, but when they get big, God help us. But is banning the breed enough, or should all dogs over a certain weight be muzzled? I'm posing that question to you and going head-to-head -head with my panel today, former Liberal Democrat Minister Norman Baker and also Conservative peer Lord Daniel Moylan. Uh, Daniel, what do you think about these? There are two... I, I, I remember in my local government career, I once uh, had responsibility when I was very young for sort of dog policy in parks and so on. And a very wise um, head of department, council officer, who had been there many years, warned me to keep well away from the subject. I said, well, why? Mm. Uh, it was called Mr Cook. I said, why, Mr Cook? And he said, because the world is divided into two sorts of people, he said. There are, there are people who are absolutely mad on dogs um, and there are people who are absolutely mad against them. Mm. And they're both equally mad and they'll tear you to bits. Keep away from it. So I've, since then, I've kept away from getting involved in dog policy. Uh, my view, generally, I'm not a dog person. I'm not sympathetic to dogs um, myself. Uh, I wouldn't mind if they were banned in places like London, um, but um, it wouldn't worry me. But um, I'm not actually getting into the policy myself. I think, you know, you've got a lot of people out there, out in your viewers, who'd be really upset with whatever we say. I'll leave that as a bit of advice to Norman. <laughs> Do you think, no, no, I'll you can't, the, you can't sit on the I'm fence gonna, on this. I'm going to throw can't... Norman to the dogs on uh, Well, neither of us are elected at the moment, so um, you and the House <laughs> you, of Lords... You can talk. <laughs> come on, come on, Daniel. All, all right, Norman, over to you. Well, look, I mean, I'm not an expert in dogs either, but I do remember the Dangerous Dogs Act, which came in in 1992, I think it was, mm -hmm. uh, and was perceived afterwards as being a bit of a disaster because it uh, specifies certain breeds, not other breeds, and mm. people thought it didn't work very well. Uh, what I would say is that the, the general... Policy must be if there is a dog which which presents a or a breed of dog which presents a risk to the public, mm. uh, then it should not be allowed on the streets or anywhere near anybody else. I mean that that's just common sense. Now whether uh, it should be done by weight, as your introduction suggests, or some other means, I don't know. Well, but, but there are dangerous dogs out there which 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 present, present a threat to the public. But if you do it by weight, it means that you're not actually identifying one specific breed. That's right. And what no. you're doing is saying that the power of this beast or this animal you is put down is, the St Bernard's. Well, exactly. Argument, that's no, no, but, but no, no, no. Then, then you're not putting them down. No, 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 it's about them. Under their no, it's chest, about them being muzzled. through the snow to it's rescue. It's about court. them being <laughs> muzzled. It's not putting them down. You know, you don't put the dog down. But for dogs over a certain weight, I would ban certain breeds, well, I guess, are... XL bullies. But dogs over a certain weight, in my view, uh, should all be muzzled. What's interesting sociologically about this is yeah. it's not so much the, in public. the danger of the dog as the fact that we have the view, which may or may not be true, that there are people out there who actually breed the dogs and train the dogs to be vicious. Well, um, there are. And, and, and that those, in a sense, it's those people we're trying to get at by mm. taking their dogs away from them. Mm. Um, whereas it's possible, I suppose, that some of these dogs could be trained to be nice and cuddly. I don't know. But there are, but there are so. you know, some that they're actually training them to be vicious. Yes. Um, I wouldn't fancy cuddly one of those things we saw on the screen a moment ago. Well, well listen, yeah. some of the attacks, and I that was... was a puppy. I did a bit of research <laughs> on the attacks, and I've got a, mo a monologue coming up later. You'll probably lynch me for it, but I've got a monologue coming up later about these dogs. And in some of the attacks, it was where the owner may have had a fit or was having mm. some sort of a, uh, attack, and the dog kind of went crazy, or the dog was suffering heath stroke or something like that, where the dog then went on the attack. So it's not... So it's not necessarily... And people go, it's not the dog's fault and everything. But the point is, if you have an animal like that that is so volatile in different situations, is that kind of animal I something know. we should I, be I having in our with, hands? I agree with Norman. The principle that Norman enunciated is right, that dangerous dogs should not be allowed out on the streets, mm -hmm. um, or indeed in most people's homes, quite frankly, um, because they could go for children and whatever. Um, the difficulty is <coughs> defining it. Mm. Norman refers to an act which is trying to do it by defining it by breed. What about You're weight, trying though? to define it by weight. Yeah. I don't know why weight matters. Well, because I mean, small dogs can be quite vicious. Yeah, no, no, but they're um, unlikely. But a small dog attacking you is probably unlikely uh, to kill you. Whereas some of these XL bullies, in, in many, catch from it. well, no, it depends whether they bite you. That's true. But then I would go by weight because it's the strength of these dogs that is the, the real problem. Yeah, but there are large well. dogs which aren't uh, regarded in any way as dangerous. I mean. Daniel mentioned the, the uh, St Bernard's dog with a cognac barrel. There's also the dog, if I can give an advert for Dulux, that used to be used in Dulux, with these huge yeah. dogs. 
which are which are cuddly and lovely, actually. Well, yeah, uh, but, and, but, if, but if one of those heavy ones decides to be bad when dogs go bad, if that one decides to be bad, it's heavy, and the weight of it and the strength of it and the power of it will overpower even adults. And these XL bullies have killed very strong, fit 50-year-old men. Well, they have, I'm sure That's they have, I'm and saying. we deal with those, and I think the government's got it broadly right at the moment, as a matter of fact, on this, on this issue. But we cannot start banning dogs which are no threat whatsoever. Uh, just because you happen to be a But I'm talking weight. about muzzling them by weight, so they have to be muzzled in public based on weight. But there are, there are breeds that are no threat to anybody. And no, but... You're wrong to muzzle, muzzle them. Well, that's what you say, but then, as you said earlier, so you've kind of discounted your earlier point, <laughs> was that any dog can be dangerous. Well... Well, clearly... my point is exactly that. Exactly your point, that any dog can be dangerous. So if you take on into account their weight and their strength and power, then the, the propensity or the likelihood for them to actually do you real harm will be dependent on that. As well. I'm not aware of anyone, anybody who's been attacked by a Siberian dog. Well, I'm sure I can one. find someone. I think an alternative would be to muzzle the owner. <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if you muzzled... If you said, you're going to have that dog, you're going to have to go everywhere in a muzzle in public... Mm with your face wrapped up, even in restaurants, you're going to have to keep it on. I think it would so put off the owners that they'd stop buying them. Well, that's part of it, isn't it? Part of it is to deter people from having dogs that are so powerful and so strong I and so big. I don't think they're deterred by having the dog muscle. Should, should we get no. people to have cats instead? That no, but cats are small. If you've got, listen, if the cat was the size of a puma, let's, let's talk about cats. A lion is a cat, you know. You've got a cat that size, you, want, you don't want it in your house. I'm not aware anyone's got lions, but um, maybe they have. But that's a cat. I mean, I'm just saying that, it, you know, something of that kind of species is dependent, in my view, it's dependent on weight. So what are your views, Lord Moylan? Yes or no? Muzzled because, depending on, on a certain weight? No, I don't think that's going to work. No. And, not by weight, no. No, no. But by danger. By danger. You don't know the danger. All these people saying, my dog is so lovely. He's never done that before after he's taken somebody out.